Okay, today we are talking about Kickspace heaters. So let's take the lid off this Kickspace heater and see what it looks like inside. Great thing about these, they are designed to fit in tight spaces, like under the baseboards, uh, you know, underneath your kitchen cabinets, or in a tight confined space for auxiliary heating. Basically the way these work, they draw in the cool ambient air in the room through these side vents here in the front of the unit. The air flows around, gets sucked into this little blower fan. The blower fan then blows that air across the electric heating elements, heats it up, and the air then gets discharged back into the room, helping to warm the space. Woo! These Kickspace heaters also are available with steam copper pipes, so like a heating coil basically instead of electric heating elements. And there's usually a, a thermostat that you can adjust, an on and off switch. Uh, they range anywhere in price from let's say $120 up to $300. There's usually like a safety high limit cutout switch. So in the event for some reason it overheats, it'll shut the unit down. And again, these are designed to fit into compact, tight spaces. Some can be mounted vertically, some can be mounted horizontally. So you want to do your homework on that, but it's a great option. So let's take a look around this Kickspace heater. So on the front, all you would really see is that grill and the controls. You can see it's slimline, very thin profile, kind of like the size of an old VCR. You can see the blower wheels there, the controls on the front. There's your electric heating element. You got an air proofing switch so the fan won't run, or excuse me, the electric heater won't kick on unless the fan is running. So that's the purpose of that air pressure switch. Then you got a big contactor that will provide power to the electric heating elements. And again, there's also an adjustable thermostat. And then you can see the high limit cutout switch there. That's a safety switch. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, and thanks for watching.